Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna create a speech recognition program with a GUI. In the last video, we converted text to speech, now we do the opposite. Without further ado, let's start coding. First, let's install speech recognition, tkinter, and pygame. Let's import tkinter as tk, ttk from tkinter, and file dialog. File dialog is for creating a file explorer to choose our files. Then import speech recognition as SR and mix it from Pygame to play audio. Let's first create our GUI. Let's create a window named root by calling the tk class and give it a title like speech text. Next, let's create a text widget and give it the font Arial and size of 15 and then grid it to the window. In the first column and row, the advantage of text widget over label widget is that the user can modify the result easily. Now we need a button frame for our buttons so they stay together. First one is recognize button. Let's give it button frame as its parent. Then specify its text attribute as recognize. And finally pass recognize underline file to its command attribute. Let's do the same for our save button and pass save underline file function to its command attribute. Now let's grid our button frame to our main window in the second row below the text widget and then grid the buttons to the button frame because the parent is button frame, not the window. Finally, call the main loop function so the window listens to the changes and events. Before testing our GUI, we need to first create recognize file and save file functions that we pass to the buttons and additionally, we create select file function to open up a file explorer and choose files that we want. Let's test it. It's okay. Let's first write the select file function. File path equals file dialog that ask open file name and we specify the title attribute. File dialog is a TK enter class that gives us a file explorer and we can choose a file with ask open file name and store it. This function returns the files directory as a string for us, which we store it in file path variable. Then we simply return the file path. Now that we can choose our audio file, let's convert it to text. First, initial recognizer as R. We initial recognizer out of the function to minimize memory usage. In the recognize file function, we first create a variable named f for file and assign it to select file function. Then with sr.audio file, f as source, audio equals r.record source. First, we open the file explorer and choose the audio file that we want, then we store its path in f variables. Next, we pass f to sr.audio file as source. Audio file opens the file to see if it's an audio file. Finally, we read the source, which is our chosen file, by calling the r.record function, and store it in audio. Audio variable is now ready to be converted to text. We first delete whatever that is in the text widget. 0.0, .0 means the very first index, and n means the last index. Then we call the r.recognize Google function to use Google's API to convert the speech to text. As you see, there are several options to use, which all of them except Sphinx are online and need internet connection to work. But the easiest way is to use Google's API. So pass the audio variable to the r.recognize Google function and store it in the text variable. Now we have the text and need to show the result to the user. For that, we call the insert method of our text widget. First attribute is the index that we want our text to be inserted. And second one is the string, which is text variable. As I said, this process needs internet connection. So we put it in a try accept statement. First exception is unknown value error, which means the audio was too noisy and couldn't be recognized. And second one is request error, which occurs when we have internet problems. Now that we have the text, we can save it into our hard drive. We first select the directory and file that we want to save the text into. Then open it using open function as file. The first attribute is the file that we select and second one is the mode. W mode means write and removes whatever that is in the file and replace it with the new values that we give it. If you want to just append, use A mode. Note that mode should be a string. Finally, we save the text in the text widget into our file using write function. Note that before saving, we have put the converted speech into our text widget. Let's recap. First, we create a file explorer in the select file function. We initialize the recognizer as R to get it ready to work. Then we select the audio that we want by calling select file function and store it in F variable. Next, we read the audio file and prepare it for conversion. Finally, we convert audio to text using Google's API and show it to the user. All of this happens when user clicks the recognize button. Also, if user press save as button, you first select a file and save the text into it. One last thing. 
I want to first hear the audio to see if Google can properly recognize it. So first let's initiate Mixer from Pygame. Then we'll load the audio file which is stored in F by calling mixer.music.loadf. And finally, we play it. So first we play the audio, then we convert it to text. Let's see what we've done. When I press recognize, we have the file explorer to select the audio. I've prepared the audio which is made by our text to speech converter program. If you want to know how, I'll put the video for you in the end of the screen. Let's test it now. This is a test audio. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more cool stuff. Cheers. And here we go. First the audio is played and then we have it on the screen as a text. TextVigil lets us modify the text before saving. Let's see the saving functionality. As you see, it's perfect. That's it guys, you can watch this video to create cool generated AI by converting your text into a speech. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Take care, see you later.